Three bodies recovered from a small plane crash in the Far East County. The complicated mission wrapping up four days after the crash was first reported. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Lindsay Pena. That plane crash also sparked a brush fire near Vulcan Mountain. 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefti is joining us from Gillespie Field. That's where the plane is believed to have been registered. Vanessa. Yeah, the weather just has not been cooperative. They have been dealing with high winds and pea soup fog. But today, after four days of trying, they finally recovered those bodies from the canyon. Three bodies found in this wreckage terrain so rough it has taken four days just to get to them. This helicopter doing what foot crews could not. The terrain was so, uh, I mean, it, it is literally, you get to a point and it just drops straight off. And so, uh, uh, God bless those guys from Cal Fire who've been down there. The plane crashed into Vulcan Mountain near Julian Thursday. A wildfire 12 football fields long could be seen in the night sky. It's probably one of the, the most difficult fires I've had to watch them fight in 29 and a half years in, of my career. More than 70 firefighters working to contain the flames, but with winds topping 40 miles per hour, they couldn't drop water from the air. Finally, today, 100% containment. Rescuers needed a helicopter to remove the bodies. This morning, a National Transportation Safety Board contractor managed to reach that site, tasked with gathering wreckage that may help identify what happened. Other parts removed by that helicopter, it's been a rough four days. And unfortunately, with all the hot spots that continued to exist there, our ropes would have melted. They're nylon rope, and we were told that the, the shoes on our feet would melt. This is a picture of the missing twin engine Beechcraft Duchess with four seats, mainly used by flight schools. This one registered to Scandinavian Aviation Academy at Gillespie Field in El Cajon, which goes by SAA. The plane was supposed to land in Ramona on Thursday, but never made it. Vulcan Mountain infamous among locals for its nickname, Death Mountain, because of the number of crashes here. One resident reportedly remembered at least nine on the mountain since 1993. So investigators right now hoping to get serial numbers from the wreckage today. There's not much left, they say, but they're hoping to trace that back to the missing plane here at Gillespie Field. No word on the victim's identities tonight. The medical examiner will be uh, working on that. And meantime, firefighters, we're talking 100% containment on that fire, but they're going to be out there for the next couple days because of all the hot spots. There was a lot of fuel. Reporting live, Vanessa Van Hefti, 10 News.